Okay guys, so sorry for not making videos for the past few weeks. School has just been really really hectic and I just really can't find time. But yeah, this so today was kind of the end of my hecticness. I had a hectic week week earlier. So and I finally got to do some shopping today and I decided to show you what I got. And also I'm including some items that I've gotten for a while now and I I meant to show you guys but I just didn't find the time to make it make a video. Yeah, so let's just get started. So today I went to Sephora and I got some stuff that I want to get for quite some time. First, um, I just ran out of my cleanser. Um, I don't really have a particular cleanser that I stick faithfully to because uh, since it's something that I use every single day, I, so I like to experiment with different kind of facial cleanser. So previously I was using the Neutrogena, Neutrogena cleanser because it was really easily accessible to me and I can just get it in my regular drugstore near me. Uh, but today, I went to Sephora and decided to get another one. It's the Soap and Glory Face Soap. It's a 3-in-1 Daily Detox Vitamin C Facial Wash. It looks like this. Yeah. I kind of used this before and I really like it. And the only reason why I got a new cleanser is because I want to try something new. And I find that... I find myself reaching for this again. I like it because it has like... If you can see, it has a, this pink micro beads inside that... Ha that has that kind of exfoliates your skin gently without irritating it so much and it smells really good it has this smell that you know it's a very clean smell and it leaves a very refreshing finish uh, after you wash your face so I really really like it and then next I've got from, also from Soap and Glory I got the, the Daily Shine Conditioner called Glad Hair Day yeah um like damaged and dry hair is like my friend and I live with it every single day and I've always been trying to find solutions to fix the condition of my hair so you know previously I had my hair dyed so many times and it's like really in a quite a damaged condition so I try to treat my hair nicely these days so that's why I decided to get this daily conditioner this leave-on conditioner to try not sure how I feel about it but we'll see Next, uh, the next two things are from Burt's Bees. I got the Burt's Bees Super Shiny Grapefruit and Sugar Beet Shampoo. Yeah, I was looking for a shampoo for my hair and I was looking at all the functions and everything but ultimately this is the smell. Like the, the scent of it just attracts me. It smells of grapefruit and it, it smells so good. I really it smells so good. I really really like the scent of grapefruit. I think it's the best scent ever. Yeah, and that's why I got it. Although, like, super shiny hair isn't really my priority, but it's smelling of grapefruit. It's really awesome. And the next thing I got was the grapefruit, the grapefruit lip balm from Bird's Bees as well. This smells so good. Like, really? Like, 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 I know that I have to get this after I smell it. I'm gonna be a walking grapefruit. But that's a good thing for me. Yeah. So... Next, uh, from, I received my items from American Apparel. I didn't intend to buy anything, but um, I, my friends were tweeting about what they are purchasing and I couldn't resist this deal. Um, is this Bikini Triangle Top Bra? Yeah, but honestly, I kind of regretted this purchase because these bras come without paddings. So it's kind of just a piece of cloth, like that. So uh, I think I'm going to sew paddings onto them, so as to make them functional. I mean, I just I can't just wear them like that, right? Uh, but what really, what really attracts me is the color combination. It's so pretty. And it's only 2, two USD, 2 USD, yes. So uh, I, I didn't really mind paying for it. But honestly, I thought it, it would come with paddings though. Well, and the next one, I, I got it in the navy and cream cream color yeah ah, I need a slow padding so oh, no but it's okay it's only 2 USD and it just teach me a lesson you know really really think about what you purchase online especially clothing like that yep and then oh 
You know like Apple is currently recalling their first generation iPod Nano and I happen to have that one and it has been like hiding in my closet for like for centuries and I've never touched it. So um Apple so I went to the Apple Center today to to um get an exchange for iPod Nano and I got the sixth generation iPod Nano in replace of the first generation one. And I, I kind of really like it. I'm, I'm currently using an iPod Touch and it looks perfectly fine. I, I'm totally in love with it but it's just that it can, it's kind of huge and I can't really um, when I go jogging with it, I kind of have to hold it on my hand because my shorts don't really have pockets. And But this iPod Nano has a has a clip-on has a clip-on function in the way that you can clip it onto your shirt. Oh my god, where's the clip? Oh here, yeah. So you can actually clip onto your top as you go jogging. And it has quite a few functions that my iPod Touch doesn't. It has radio and it has this fitness function with a Nike logo. Can you see that? Yeah. I'm not very sure how it works. I guess I'll find out. Hope that it might motivate me to work out. I don't know. Yep. I guess that's it for today and just some other stuff. Okay, uh, earlier last month, there's this flea market in my school. Even though my school is near the shopping district, it is in town, but I just don't have the time to go out and shop, you know. So when they brought the shops to me, I was really happy. And just some stuff that I got. Well, my in my previous video, I talked about um, the stuff that I've already hit pen on. So I took the opportunity to replace some of the stuff that I hit pen on. So first, I've got the Elf Bronzer. Yeah, it looks like that. I've used this uh, some of these stuff a couple of times already. It kind of looks like that. Yeah. I really like the bron this bronzer. Except that it might not be... Uh, it's a little bit too light uh, light for me. I prefer my bronzer to be really defining my cheekbones. But, but um, I'm satisfied with it. Uh, it's good for everyday use. Uh, of like When you wear it to school and everything for not so dramatic looks. Yeah, it looks perfectly fine. And then next, I got the... Next blush in mocha. Yeah, even though um like peach blushes are uh, uh, re really complements yellow skin tone well, I don't really own peach blushes and I don't know why so I decided to pick this up. Yeah, and I'm really in love with it. This is like my everyday blush. Um, I love the pigmentation. Like, you know some blushes, you really have to dip your brush into it. Uh, before you can get like really good coloration in your skin, but this just like like two dips, like, I can get my both cheeks settled. Yeah, and I really love it. Next, I got the also from from Elf the Elf Complexion bl Brush. The reason I got this is because the the brush is really soft. It's like when I felt it on my hand, is oh my god, I'm so in love with it, and I have to get it. But after using it for a couple of times. I don't really like it and I won't recommend it because um, it doesn't pick up color very well. Like I had to sort it so many times before I um, I can get it onto my skin and so maybe it's just too smooth that the powder just doesn't just doesn't stick on the brush. I don't know. Like as much as it feels so good on my skin, I won't recommend it because it doesn't work very well for me. And uh, next I got the elf brush. This is the stipple brush. Stippling brush, yeah, stipple brush. I have a the huge stipple brush that I use for my foundation, but sometimes I find that it's a little bit too huge in a way that um, I find it a little bit hard to blend. That's why I prefer to get the small one instead. I don't know, it's kind of flattened, I don't know why. Yeah, but I haven't really got to use it, so I'm not very sure. Like, if this doesn't work on me well enough too, then I'll say that I lost faith in elf brushes. Well, I don't know, I can grow on a stipple brush. Well, okay, next I've got um, the NYX concealer. I mean, if you watch my previous video, you'll know that I ran out of my concealer. So, um, on one desperate day, I just, yeah, went out to buy a concealer and this is the one that I picked up. It's the NYX HD Photogenic Concealer. I'm really in love with this stuff. I love this concealer. Um, you know, previously, I don't really have a lot of faith in liquid concealers just because um, I don't find them stick staying very well. That's why I've been st um, sticking to cream concealers instead. But somehow, I just picked this up. And this lasts for the whole day on me. And this was 
this is enough to replace um, a pudding foundation on it uh, for me if I were just to do a, a basic school makeup and I would just put concealer and then my blush and I'm off to go so I'm really in love with this stuff definitely will purchase it again yep and next I got this Porsche top coat quick drying top coat um I've always had problems with doing my own nails just because I don't have the patience to wait for them to dry uh, because like then like um, while waiting for dr for them to dry suddenly I'll have like a million and one things to do and then as doing these things um, it will totally destroy my nails so I can never get my nails perfectly done myself and this top coat really helps me a lot because after doing my nails I just need to wait for a while and then I apply the top coat in around 5 minutes or so, my nails will be completely dry and I can go and do my million and one things. Yeah, so it. I'm really, really loving this and I'm, I wonder why I never purchased a quick dry top coat before, until now. I really have no idea. Yeah, so that's all my beauty products. Next, uh, I'll just show you some of the jewelry and just random stuff that I got from the sea. Uh, I got some accessories. First, I got this necklace that, that has an owl on it. It can be opened, but uh, it's very really troubles. Ah, it opens, but it opens nothing anyway, so. And then I got this octopus necklace, which is so cute. Kind of make, reminds me of Squidward, you know, SpongeBob Squidward. Yeah. And then I got a ring, it's just a super cute ring. It's a double ring in this scissor stone paper scissors paper stone super cute oh my goodness and it kind of stays on my hair like this scissors paper stone so cute oh, can't resist. and this is free for ten dollars can you believe it i love the free i love the flea market and then i got some random bookmarks it says help me and yeah, let me open it up to show you it looks like that it says bookmark and then yes a hand so it's kind of like raising up your hand so cute! Yeah, I can't resist it. Uh, is that all? Yeah, I think that's about it. I didn't really get to shop much these days just because I really have no time. Oh, I, I picked up one item from H&M the other day, but I'm just wondering. It's just, it's, just, it's just here. Anyway, yeah, I got these pants. This long pants from H&M the other day. I kind of, I really, really love it. Because uh, it can be worn as like three quarters. I don't en own any three quarter pants, you know. I don't know why, so I decided to pick it up. It was only seventeen ninety, so I couldn't pass it. I didn't even, I didn't even try it. Thankfully, the size kind of fits me. Oh, it's a bit loose, but I can always use a belt, so it's so fine. Yeah, so that's about it. Oh, I got, like, like no, quite, a, quite a while ago, I finally visited the Lush store in my area, and I decided to get the famous honey. I washed the kids' soap. It's right here. Yeah, it looks like that. I kind of still I kind of keep it in my packaging like that, and I fold it and put it in one corner of my room, just because I don't want it to melt away. So I just keep it in a cool corner. And it smells really good. I'm really, really in love with it. And I cut um a slices off um, and then I'll use those different slices each time because I don't want to bring this whole bar into the shower and let it melt inside. You know, it smells so good. And one thing is I I'm not really. I'm not really crazy. I'm not really a fan of bar soaps just because it's really difficult to use. I'm um I'm a total shower gel kind of person just because it's so easy to slap it all over your body. But for a soap, you kind of need a loofah. It will kind of foam up and everything. And storing of soaps is just really troublesome. So I kind of like living in my room. And by living in my room, uh, the scent kind of like uh, like spreads through my room. So I can smell honey. I wash the kids everywhere in my room. So I really like it, so I, I plan to keep it here as long as it lives. Yes. So that's the end of my haul. And as you can see, I'm pretty psyched up and hyper right now because I'm finally doing a video. And I'm so, so sorry. I really, really meant to do much, much more videos, but I just really don't have the time. But from now on, I'll try to find time and I'll try to find more interesting things to do. Like I'll try to film road trips and stuff. But it's really difficult to film when you're outside because it's difficult not to be awkward. So, yeah, we'll see. So, anyway, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!